How's it going out there everybody? My name is Roll Easy and welcome back to my channel. Guys, today I have one of the easiest gift cards to friends glitches ever. It's a card duplication glitch, obviously. Some of you that don't know about gift cards to friends, you're not just giving your friend a car, you're duplicating a car for your friend. Okay, so that's how this works. Uh, you only need one friend, first of all. All right, it's gift cards to friends, so you definitely need at least one friend, but you only need one for this whatsoever. So two people in the same session. Shout out to World's Finest Gamer, Super 420, Glitch TV, and Tuta Facile France. Uh, go ahead and get your friend and throw yourselves in a solo public session, uh, a public session, or a friend session. Okay, no invite onlys. Invite onlys don't seem to let this glitch work very well. Okay, so uh, just like I said, you need one friend in the same lobby as you in one of those types of sessions, anything but an invite only. Uh, the person getting the car needs a facility. Make sure it's full of RH8s or Fagios, uh, you know, because you're going to be getting rid of those cars. You're going to be overriding them. Your friend that is giving you the car obviously you, you need a you need your friend to give you some sort of vehicle if you're doing this as a money glitch benny's vehicles are the ones to go with uh you can do modded cars as well whatever you want and right here this rh8 that i have came from one of my garages doesn't matter which one it's coming from it can come from any garage you just need any vehicle right now uh to start off the glitch if you're doing this as a money glitch make sure your friend's car like that retro that my friend is going to give me has custom plates on it all right it needs custom plates and then you need custom plates to change it after now there's two methods all right i'm going to show you the method right here without time or with timing and there's another method without timing problem is rockstar services right now are terrible and the servers are down so you definitely want to do the without the timing method or or with timing method like i'm showing you right here okay i'll get into that other method uh, later on in the video so now that we're ready to go my facility is full my friend's ready to give me a car i'm going to go ahead and drive my random rha from any garage over to my facility and since it's full I'm gonna get this the facility is full alert okay this is what you want so now you just sit here now my friend sitting outside with the retro that they're about to give me they need to go ahead and start up a Titan of a job all right so they're starting up a Titan of a job and they're just gonna sit inside of the lobby okay once they're in the lobby just tell them to press B or circle so that they're sitting on that exit you know do you, are you sure you want to quit out of the job alert okay so they're waiting on that you know exit job alert from Titan of a job now what you're gonna be doing is since you're on this garage full alert or facility full alert you want to go ahead and actually go to the dashboard and accept invitations from your friend if they sent you invites or just join them through you know the party anything like that my friend sent me invites so I'm just gonna go ahead and accept and accept the invites uh, to that Titan of a job once again, my friend is waiting on the confirm to quit alert from Titan of a job, okay? So this is the timing. Right now, I've accepted those alerts or joined from the party, doesn't matter what you do. Sit on this full alert for 10 to 15 seconds that are you sure you wanna join Titan of a job alert will be loading up in the background of this. Here's the timing. You need to start spamming A or X at the same time as your friend quitting out of the job. Just like that, okay? So we literally pressed A or X at the exact same time so that I can spam and they can quit out. Now, if done correctly, you'll end up under the map like this. Open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out. You'll get the wasted sign just like that. And that's pretty much how you know you fit the glitch. You'll spawn back with no mini map, just like this, okay? That's how you know you're all glitched out. So now what you wanna do is go ahead and run back over to your facility. If you don't know where you are, just have your friend come pick you up real quick. But, uh, but yeah, so right now I'm just running over to that retro that my friend is giving me. I'm gonna hop into the retro right now and just like this all I gotta do now is simply drive into my facility guys that is literally it okay so I'm gonna drive into my facility you're gonna get the garages full alert just go ahead and it's gonna ask you to remove a vehicle now I don't know if this happens to everybody but right now I get caught on like a minute loading screen going into my facility all right it was long let me tell you so it's okay it still works so now I've spawned into my facility. This is why you need a facility full of RH8s. Go ahead and you're going to be overriding an RH8. And just like that, as you can see, I have a I have my friend's retro inside of my facility, guys. That is literally it. That is all you got to do to get a uh, you know to for your friend to give you a car. Now this car can't be sold just yet. I would have to change the the plates on it and stuff, but there are a few things you need to know right after this, okay? You can't just simply, you know, you can't just simply go um uh, what's it called? You can't just simply, you know, drive this out and take it over somewhere. L look what happens when you drive it out of the facility. It actually bricks up on you. Now I can spam handles and stuff. You have two options right now. You can either quit out the game and restart GTA again, or what you can do is go to swap character, okay? You need a new session for every single dupe, basically, all right? So, 
At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and quit out of GTA. I think that this is actually the faster method. So I'm just going to quit out of GTA and I'm just going to load back in. It's up to you whether you want to go ahead and just press pause and go to swap character, go back to your other character, and then now you have to switch back to your main character. All right, so I'll leave that up to you whether, you know, which one you want to do. I think it's easier to just close up the game. And then once you've uh, spawned into story mode, go ahead and go into another closed friend session. I recommend closed friend sessions for this glitch. And then... I actually spawned back and look what's out on the street. It's actually the RH8 that I drove into the facility. I thought it didn't work for a second. You know, I was thinking, oh, wow, I should have probably forced a game save or something like that. So just to kind of check, I'm going to go ahead and drive this over to my facility. And I want to make sure that the facility is, you know, is still full or that my retro is still in there. So I'm just going to drive up to my facility. And you can, as you can see right there, it is full. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop out and I'm going to run in there. All right, because I, I really wasn't sure whether I hit the glitch or not. It seemed like everything went perfect, but I wasn't sure whether I had to force some sort of game save before I actually closed the application. And I didn't have to. As you can see right here, there is the white retro, pure white that my friend has given me. It is still there, okay? So at this point is when you would want to go ahead and change the plates. I'll show you that at the end of the video. Uh, this is the second method. Now, so you can see on the left, Rockstar saving failed. You know, the game services are unavailable. It was super hard to get this footage. I couldn't fully do the glitch with this second method, but it's basically the same. There's just one or two different little steps to it. So it's the same setup right now. Garage full. I need that alert. My friend's going up into Titan of a job. So right now I'm sitting on the garage full alert and my friend is actually in Titan of a job. I'm going to go ahead and just join them through their gamer card. All right. So I'm just going to press a a few times on their, uh, you know, on join game. And then I'm just going to wait here for them to actually load or for my my alerts to actually load up in the background. And then you just want to simply when you think the alert is in the background, just start spamming a your friend doesn't have to back out. So there's no timing on this one. But the problem is right now, since the servers are down and just shit, basically you this this one's really difficult because it's hard to join friends. I actually got caught right now on you know on a loading screen that was like super long i didn't even think it would work but then it finally loaded me into the job okay so once you get loaded into the job just like this all you got to do is back out so i fast forwarded right there but all i did was back out of the job and then i got stuck on this screen right here all right i'll show you what i even did to get out of here but uh you know i just tried to join a friend get another unable to connect alert and stuff and i just got stuck in another cloud okay so this is this method basically what you're doing is you're actually just backing out of the job when you back out of the job, your friend can go ahead and back out if he wants. It doesn't matter. There's no timing involved in this. Uh, once you've backed out of the job, it's just like the other method. You just want to go ahead and you're back down. Go ahead and open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out. You'll spawn next to your facility. And then you can go ahead and hop into the car they're giving you and drive it into your facility. And then replace over an RH8 in there. That's it. So those are the two methods that you have. You know, you can choose one or the other. I, I'm sorry I couldn't get the footage for the second method. Just the Rockstar services did not let me properly join and quit the game. All right. But that's what happens. But I just wanted to let you guys know both methods. I'll leave a text tutorial down in the description for both methods. Now, uh, back to, you know, after once you get the card, you've closed the app or swapped character and now you can drive out. What you want to go ahead and do is you need to change the plates on this car, okay? Now, if you're getting modded vehicles and you don't really care about having, you know, dirty dupes or anything like that, then, you know, I get it. I get it. You don't really have to do this because you don't plan on selling the car anyways. But this glitch is very easy and definitely good to do as a money glitch for sure. It just came out, so I recommend it as a money glitch and a gift cards to friends for modded cars if you would like one, all right? But once again, if you're doing this as a money glitch, Benny's vehicles and it must have a custom plate on it, okay? Don't be duping X80s and stuff like that. No, that's a terrible idea. So I'm in my, you know, my uh, or Los Santos Customs. I'm in the mod shop. I'm going to go ahead and just put on one of my custom plates on it. And there you go. This car is clean. I can go ahead and store it in a garage and save it for later. I can sell it right now that I've actually saved everything. So it's pretty much all set, guys. So that's really what I wanted to go over. Hopefully the Rockstar, you know, as you can see right there on the left, saving failed. These servers are just going crazy. It's been like this all day. But at least I was able to get this footage for you and bring you this awesome brand new glitch that just came out today. Uh, they were waiting to release it a little bit later until the other, you know, give cars to friends methods got patched. But this one is really easy, so I wanted to bring it to you guys as quickly as possible. Okay, uh, maybe I'll stream this, you know, in a few days or something like that if it's still working. And, you know, maybe we can, you know, do some give cars to friends stuff, okay? But for now, that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Rolizi. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. 
Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel by hitting that big red button if you're new. Turn on post notifications. Drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.